All right, good morning, guys. Today we're going to look at renewable and non-renewable energy. When we hear that word renewable, I want you guys to think of something that can never run out, that we'll have forever and ever. Now, when you think of non-renewable, that is a resource or a type of energy that at one point we won't have any more of it. It means we cannot renew it or we cannot have it anymore. So some examples of some renewable energy would be the sun, uh, wind, uh, solar power from the sun as well, uh, using water or waves as energy. Those would be examples of energy that we can renew. Some of the non-renewable energies we have, such as maybe oil, wood, uh, coal, those are all different types of energies that at some point, if we keep using them, they are going to run out. Now, I want to read you guys an article on renewable and non-renewable energy. Do you like to fly kites? If you do, you're in luck because kites are powered by renewable energy. You can take your kite out and fly it all day on a windy day and then do it again anytime the wind blows. That is because a kite is powered by wind. Wind energy doesn't get used up. It's there every time the wind blows. Surfers get to take advantage of renewable energy too. All you need to do to ride the surf in a surfboard, the power is provided by nature. The waves give you the ride on your surfboard or another natural force that doesn't get used up. The earth has tides that come and go and provide a constant supply of energy. Solar power is another renewable power source. In fact, the sun is the force behind almost all the other energy sources on earth. The sun is the ultimate source of power. Without the sun, we wouldn't have as much energy. Without the sun, we wouldn't even be here. Now, here are some forms of non-renewable energy. Non-renewable sources are the ones that get used up. Oil, coal, wood. These are non-renewable resources. Even though new coal and oil are being formed within the earth, it takes one million years for that to happen. And we can plant trees, but they don't grow nearly as fast as we burn wood. Right now, renewable resources are still being used to power most of the power plants that provide power for everyday uses such as heat and light. So why are we still using so much non-renewable energy if there's an endless supply of wind and tides and sun? What's the problem? Why don't we just use renewable energy instead? So far, we've had a hard time getting sources of renewable energy under control. Solar power is great when the sun is shining. Wind power is great when the wind is blowing. Tides are only available if you are by the ocean. People have tried various ways to capture, store, and transport power from these sources, but so far they have been expensive and not too efficient. Solar, powers with solar panels, which collect solar energy, are one good example of a way that people have tried to put renewable energy to everyday use. You can probably think of some other examples too. Now, I notice a lot of, a lot of people's homes now have those solar panels on top of their houses. And that solar panel is an example of a renewable energy that we can continue to use over and over and over again. Now, I'm going to give you guys some questions that I want you to answer in classroom. Please answer them in complete sentences. Thank you. Be safe.